Hello there and welcome back to the fourth episode of the England Cricket Career Mode and more specifically the Ashes Cricket Joe Root Career Mode, the player career mode to option on the Ashes Cricket game for the Xbox One. Today we're doing the fourth episode of our second innings in day three of the Adelaide Oval, the second test of the Ashes series. Now if you haven't watched the uh, previous episode I recommend you go and do that because it was two quite big innings at the start of the match but spoiler alert now, there you go. Australia scored 526 in their innings, pretty much double what we scored in our first innings, hence why ourselves and Cook, we've just come in, um, hence why ourselves and Cook are really going to be on an uphill battle to see whether we can uh, see and try, and, not necessarily try and defeat the Australians, because I don't think that's going to happen now, but an uphill battle to see if we can try um, to salvage at least a draw out of this game. So here we go then for our first delivery of the episode, it's quite weird I've recorded this straight after the third episode, which, which always feels a bit weird, um, recording one episode after another, you know, saying goodbye and then straight away, you know, hello everyone again. But uh, it'll be Tuesday evening in your world, so what will have happened in my world? Well, I've had three exams on that day, which won't have been fantastic at all. Um, but, uh, I mean, as soon as they're done, happy days, really. Nice first few runs, though. It looks like we might well get a four, if not a three. I think we might actually just get the three here. Yeah, and Cook is back on strike for the last ball of the over. And uh, it looks like Cook has started really well in this innings. Um, and this test match. But here we go. Alistair Cook. Highest score ever. 294. And can he make his 33rd um, 100 in this innings? We're in though. Nathan Lyons having a bowl. And he took one of the wickets earlier on. I think it might well have been the wicket of uh, Mark Stoneman earlier on. He comes into bowl though. That's a nice bowl. Well, nice bowl. Nice ball. Um, but we hit it quite successfully. And that again is going to be a free. It's going to be quite a risky free. I accept that. But uh, it does go for free quite easily in the end. Cook then on the uh, strikers end now. And that's our first, uh, sorry, not our first runs. Our second lot of runs of this innings. I'm just fearing, you know, I can just sense it. That if they get Cook um, now, that it could will, well be A, quite a short episode. Um, and B, one of them that's just over really quickly. Because the Australians are just going to win this test match, unfortunately. I think that's going to be quite hard to stop Australia winning it anyway because of their batting capabilities, certainly in this match. Um, but I don't know, I mean, they did have a second innings collapse. Because, of course, they batted first in the last match, I think. Uh, but they did have a second innings collapse. No, sorry, they batted second because uh, we watched them last that lost the last wicket as the last part of episode two. Spoiler alert. Um, but I have put the um, batting on hard as opposed to medium as it was in episode one and two. Um, so maybe it might be a little bit harder. But to be honest, it's not looking that hard at all at the moment. Um, but... You know, as long as we score quickly, that's what we're trying to do anyway. Cook is on to 77, though, and really we're going to have to start really whacking um, the ball around against Knife and Lion here. So there's a bit of a risk that we might get out quite early. I accept that. Um, but, uh, you know, there's not really anything to lose here. But as you can see, we whack the ball. We might not be out here, actually. Um, luckily, we're not, actually. And there's a fielder on at the boundary, but luckily we do get a boundary. Actually, that's probably a, bit, a little bit silly to start whacking the ball around like that this early into the episode. Because if it's about a five minutes episode, I might just cry. Um, because it looks quite evident then that we have lost um, the test, or won the test rather, or that an outcome has been found quite quickly. But of course, you know, we're still trying to Australia, so there's, there's a chance, there's a very big chance, that uh, it could all be over before this innings is over, but I'm sure it won't be. Uh, I just hope that the rest can score at least 63 if we get out now, say. Um, but the bowler comes in, and we try the reverse swing again. That's probably just going to be the one innings. Uh, the one innings, the one run. What's really annoying me, look at the left. And that's the, the, is it the sun that's coming through the ground? I don't quite think the uh, graphics worked so well there. Just making a bit of sport talk, though, now, aren't we, really? Uh, 192 for two. Credit to the team. We have done quite well to get to this stage. James, Vince, and Cook had a real good partnership. Uh, hopefully, ourselves and Cook can have a real good partnership here. That would be very nice to see. Um, but we don't want to let it... Well... I can't think what I was going to say here. But we want to see the test match progress, I think, in this episode. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but that's another... Whoa, wow. That was a bad hit from us. But it's going to go for light buys again. And it could well go for four. Um, they did concede a lot of buys in that first innings as well. Um, I think that was about eight. So two fours, effectively. And uh, Mitchell Stark just simply bowling too quickly. I never knew you could bowl too quick as a bowler. Um, but I suppose you can, I suppose. But that's the sort of ball we're going to go for. And it's hit, it's hit Cook's legs, which is a real shame because it could have gone through. There was no fielder there, and it got a bit of pace on it. But oh well, it's gone for one, and we are back in um, for the start of the 44th over. And Nathan Lyon, of course, is back in. Now, Lyon didn't really have much of an influence on that first innings um, because, obviously, he only got the one wicket. Um, but here he could, I suppose. He could probably get both ourselves and Cook out, which is probably what will happen um, at some point during this episode. If it does, honestly, I can't say into the future. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, 17 off 10 balls. 
and that could be more runs coming here. Probably just be the two. We're going to go for it. Yeah, we will get the two quite easily here. And we are still on strike, which is really nice to see. But yeah, hmm, interesting stuff. As obviously, in the first uh, test, we won the match in the first uh, test by five runs. So every run matters. I think that's fair to say that every single run matters in this. Um, oh, that's a nasty shot. And I don't know if that come off the bat or not. Let's have a look. Um, if that had come off the bat, let's have a look. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold, hold your horses. Um, I'm trying to think here. What what do we want to do? I don't really know what get that um, trigger's doing. I just want to rotate um, and zoom in. No, I want to look at row root. Hold on a second. This is really good uh, for me, isn't it? Right. Hide the hood. And then let's see what happens. Did we hit it? No, it didn't just come off our arm, really. Um, but if I've safe, if, if we had hit it, I'm sure they'd have gone for it a lot quicker than that. Um, because obviously we would have been out caught. And uh, as I said, the wicket would be taken by Nathan Lyon. That's, well, we can see into the future, I suppose. But that is going to be another one that goes down the offside. But that will, in fact, we're going to go for two risky runs here. The fielder is quite slow to retrieve that one, though. So we have got two quite easily there in the end, which is nice to see. But uh, two balls left this over. We've had another really good start to this innings. We haven't gone cheaply yet, but that's, I think, because the problem is we're being quite conservative. That isn't conservative, that's quite a lofted ball. And that will just be the other two, because it wasn't a brilliant in terms of timing. It will actually be free, because um, we are going to risk it for free. Come on, son, run. Nice, nice one, Root. Well done. And Cook gets the one ball on strike this over. Um, probably be cheeky and just go for the one and be back on strike. But I'm quite happy with that, to be honest. Um, but no, he doesn't. So, Josh Hazelwood's in. We trail by 48. So, if we score 12 and over for four overs, we can do it. Fair enough. Right, had nice ball from Hazelwood, but nice hit from us. Um, going down that edge, if you think about it. And that will just be the two runs to start the over off. And that's really nice to see. And that light is still really annoying me, you know. It's coming through every about two seconds in this. If we go and zoom... Um, no, it doesn't actually come up there. Typical. Um, but I can't really get these star ratings, you know, still. Because... Why is Stark 100 when Kawaj's only 78? I mean, he got 171 in the innings earlier today, for goodness sake. I'm talking in Saturday, of course. Um, but, I, oh, well, I don't know anymore. But uh, that's just going to be the one. Cook back on strike again. Ooh, that was close, that was. Very, very, very close. Cook's back on strike, though. Um, but after he just scores the run, we've trailed by 44. The lovely number of Lewis Hamilton. I'm going to go for the reverse swing. Hopefully it works. Ooh, dear, it just went above us, that ball did. We kind of knelt down to try and get the reverse swing to work. But it didn't, in the end. It's the last ball of the over. He hasn't took any wicket yet, has Hazelwood not. Um, but he could well take a wicket now. And again, we go for reverse swing, and it wasn't really the right shot to make. End of the over, then. Um, Alistair Cook will be back in um, to bat. And after getting one, I don't know how, um, off how many balls, I don't know how impressive that is. Um, off the two balls, that is. Um, we are back on strike. In the form of Joseph Root. That's going to be another one to the offside. And um, we are going to go for two here. Why not? That's going to be quite a risk. Run, run, run. Yeah, we're going to make it. That's fine. If it had been a direct hit, though, it might well have been a lower chance of making it to that uh, wicket there. It's 112 for two, though. We are moving quite quickly. We've had a good uh, partnership, I guess you could say, with Alice Cook so far this match. We are going to start going a bit aggressive, though, now. And that didn't really work, did it? That didn't work whatsoever. It didn't work at all. Too early on the time in there. Nathan Lyon then, really. Five and over he's conceding at the moment. And we've gone for it again. Poor shot choice course there. But uh, 41 we trail by now in this test match. And this episode is really just going to be a slog, I think. Just try um, and get them runs. And that's... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold your horses. Get back. There's a, there's a large appeal for us to be out here, apparently. Not interested, though. We had appeals against us in the first innings. We haven't actually been out um, yet, ironically. It's always been the um, simulated version of Root that gets out. Cook got six earlier. Wow, that's unlike Cook. Um, that's going to be a Yorker, and that could well be classed as wide. Hmm. Apparently, it's great bowling. I do quite like Yorkers. So that's a real shame that we've uh, not been able to get a hit on that one. Probably go for a bounce now, which I hate. Yep, what a surprise. Why has it gone reverse swing? I didn't hit anything. Bit stupid, isn't it? There we go, then end the over. Bit of a pointless two balls there, really. But a cook with a six, that's blooming impressive. And he's going for it now. He's got three off those two balls. You can tell he's going for it, um, which is what we probably need to do also. 
Give it another hit. And oh, oh, out. That's out. We're out here, you know. We are. Oh dear, we went for it. And because it was a direct hit to the wicket, we're out. Run out by David Warner. I just said two seconds beforehand. We haven't been out this uh, test series yet. We have not been out once. We're quite aggressive though there. And a lovely direct hit from David Warner. It's quite obvious to be honest um, that we were out. And we were out quite, by quite a while. Uh, not quite a while. Quite a bit there as you can see. Gone. The, the wicket's already been hit. Quite a nice indicator when it's been hit. And it's been hit there. It's already been hit. Um, it was hit I think before... Uh, Lion, well, Lion tried to hit it twice, I think. Um, but we were out way before that. So, unfortunately, we can't do any more to save this test match. It's a real shame. And uh, the only real person I think can do this now is Alistair Cook. So, let's see what he can do. We're going to watch to see if he can get his 100, which would be a real good uh, thing that Cook could do. That's interesting. Our first um, wicket of the season, I promise. I'm Well, secretly, I'm a little bit happy about that. Because it means that he leaves it to the AI to try and do things. But I didn't try and get ourselves out there. I generally thought there was a run opportunity. It was just that David Warner got a direct hit. In other situations, he wouldn't have got the direct hit. And that's just the sort of thing that happens. Root, uh, sorry, not Root. Cook could get with, uh, do with getting a few runs here, though, to keep himself on strike for the next over. Last ball of the over, then, from Nathan Lyon. And, ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. wow. Close. Milan though on strike. Right, we're going to skip. Um, well, apparently we've skipped the whole game now. We don't want to do that. No. Ah. Right. Are we out for... Are we all out? No, we're not. Right, we lead by 55. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right, Milan was gone. Wow. We should have seen that. I knew we should have watched that. Milan was out for a duck first ball. Uh, and then Bairstow Overton and uh, Ali and Broad did a bit pants, to be honest. Um, but we only lead by 55. And it's going to be an Australia win inevitably here. But uh, Lyon only took an, only took, taken our wicket so far. That's a nice hit by James Anderson there. You know, that could well be two quite easily. But it won't get to the boundary, I'm fairly sure. Um, but the bowler, could, uh, the fielder could have really got that. Because I think that's gone for three now. And we lead by 58. Definitely a more assailable lead, absolutely, in this match. But it, I guess it does put Wokes back on strike. Which, to be fair, out of the two is more out. But if you saw in the last episode, Wokes scored 19. Which is a very respectable score for someone down that low. But off 94 balls, so expect a few dot balls now, but that was quite aggressive. But luckily, um, it went straight to, well, luckily it went straight to the field. And now, mm, well, don't know what I was saying there. But anyway, Lyon comes in again for the penultimate delivery of the over. Comes in, hits it, and that is a lovely hit down the line. And that'll go for a boundary of four for Chris Wokes. Lovely aggressive batting there. Will it be shown on replay? I don't quite know. But seven off this over, and here we go. Look at that fantastic hit from Chris Wokes. And uh, he could have gone for six, but uh, unfortunately it did quite quickly. But if he goes for it again, I feel like he might well be out. Because it doesn't always work the second time round. Here we go, though. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I thought that was out, you know, though. And it wasn't. It just got went straight above the wicket. And um, we are going to skip um, a little bit now. Because we can't keep watching this just expecting a wicket. And um, we are going to stop after um, any wicket. And Wokes is out now. Um, for a total of 16. So he went quite quickly. And again, Rashid uh, walking off the pitch. For injury 15, though, we're out for Australia. Only need around about 60 to win this. So not really good. Uh, we will simulate um, until I get 50 runs. Um, I'd like to see us have a little bit of a bowl here. But I don't think I could get picked up a bowl. Um, and after pretty much 10 overs, they have already scored 50. So it looks like this one is going to be over quite quickly. Ali is going to bowl here. Um, and we haven't actually done much fielding um, in this series whatsoever. And I think that could have been a wicket there, but it's not. Right, we are gonna, just going to skip. Well, we'll see this. I suppose we'll see this delivery. Um, but I feel like this may well, may well be over quite quickly here. And that's another one that he's just left. And they don't have to be too aggressive, of course. I think they've got about a day to get this, get this total of 63. Um, so, you know, it's, not, it's nothing that uh, will be too bad. Right, there we go. Stopped at 10 runs, and Australia have won the second test match by 10 wickets. A much more uh, of an easy win for Australia there. And was the first match potentially a bit of a lucky streak? I mean, look at the second. The second innings is pretty good from Cook and Vince, but apart from that, nobody else performed. But in that first innings, again, ourselves and Overton performed. But if you look at that second, uh, first innings, sorry, for Australia, um, Marsh and Warner both got uh, centuries. But Cook did get 133. 
in that second innings, which is really good. But of course, we have lost on day four at the over by 10 wickets there. <laughs> Unbelievable stuff. But uh, luckily, it wasn't by, by an innings, but it very nearly was. But 1-1 uh, then, going into this third test. At the whacker, I believe, the third test, uh, third test will be. But uh, we didn't hit any sixes that innings, but we hit a few fours. And uh, we had a decent match performance there. Um, can we do anything to improve? Footwork's usually... I don't get why the footwork's so bad with Roots. Um, but I guess we can improve some of his, his bowling stats. I mean, fair enough. You know, why not? Um, that, I'm sure, will come into, into a bit of help in uh, certainly the county stuff. But we've got three more tests left. We've got the Wacker um, test against Australia, the MCG, and then the SCG. So it's 1-1. No, we don't want to play in the Zimbabwe Super 20. Go away. But uh, we'll be back on Thursday evening for the start of the third uh, third test against Australia. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this uh, test match. Unfortunately, I didn't enjoy it so much because we were out um, quite early in that second innings. But it's 1-1. Makes stuff quite interesting to go into that third match. And it could be a real change. So make sure to stick around um, to watch the next few episodes. It's going to be really crucial in uh, what, what side this goes in the Ashes test. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, folks. I've been TIJ. And I'll see you again on Thursday, 8pm, uh, for another episode of the Ashes series. So if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll see you guys on Thursday night. Goodbye.